Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a font on your phone, but this will work for iPhone and iPad. It's the same app. Um, you can use it on both devices and it works exactly the same. I did this video a while back on a different app called AnyFont and that app actually costs money. It's not expensive at all and it's what I've been using for years, but this app is actually free and you can do the exact same thing with it. So highly recommend trying this out and it's really helpful if you are a creative that loves using just different fonts or if you just want different fonts on your phone. This is really nice how you can install fonts onto your iPhone. This is the app that you want to install onto your phone. It's called iFont. Like I said, it is free, which is really nice. And you can use this to install fonts onto your device. So when you go into the app, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it does have a premium option, but it's not really necessary if you just want to use it to install fonts. So what do you do is you have to get your font from somewhere. So let me just take you through that in case you don't know how to do that. So there are many ways you can get fonts. You can either buy them from a website, you can download them for free on some websites, um, or you just have them saved on your phone already. But if you want like a website to test this out with, I'm going to recommend thefont.com. It is a place where you can get a bunch of free fonts. So here you can already see a bunch of fonts that you can try out. You can even try like Google fonts and things like that if you want to use that. Um, but I mean, the font just has a bunch of options if you want to try it out. I'm going to install one of the most basic fonts ever, which is Babis New. Um, you've probably seen this one before. So all you need to do if you're going to download a font is you can click on download on whatever website you are. and download. So you can either then go to files to find the download. In files, you will see a download section where you can go ahead and see everything you've recently downloaded. It will be in a zip file. If you tap on it, it will take it out. And the file that you want to use is the .ttf or .otf font. But what you can also do is from files, click on this section here and then go to downloads. And then just tap on that and then it will also take you to files so you don't have to go out anywhere. But then you have that saved onto your device. I actually forgot to mention iPhone also has an option to find fonts. You can go to featured here and they have a few sets of fonts here that you can install onto your device from the app itself. Obviously you can find them still on other places but if you just want to use the apps on iphone they have the option here for that or you can go here to font finder and then also here they have the font.com font space google fonts like i mentioned or you can find them from your files app like i already showed you so you can even go to this section here to easily access all those websites that i showed you um so that's also a really easy way to add the fonts already um, onto your device so then go back into iphone you now have your font in files you have the app here here and you're just going to click on this option here at the top which says like a plus file and then you can find whatever font you want to install so i'm going to install this font here which is called margin it's one of my favorite fonts recently so i'm going to just install that one but obviously install whichever font you want i'm going to select both of those click on open here we have my font so one at a time we're going to go ahead and do this so i'm going to start with margin regular we're going to click on this install option and then what it's going to do is you're just going to have to click on allow and then close. Then it tells you what to do here. I'm just going to walk you through it as well. You're going to go to settings and then here it says profile downloaded. You just click on that and then you just click on install and then you can just type in your passcode. Then you can go back to iPhone. It says font saved. When you do come back into the app, make sure that it does say install to make sure that it is successful um, and then we can move on to using the font. The app that I'm going to be testing this out on is GoodNotes because I know GoodNotes works with this on iPad as well. So you can kind of see that this will work on iPad and iPhone. Obviously you can use any app that you want that does support third-party fonts, but let's just go ahead and try out GoodNotes. So I'm just going to write the name of the font um, and then we're going to change the font by selecting, clicking the AA here and then going to fonts, and then let's scroll down to the M section. And there you have it, margin. It is installed. Um, I can adjust the size here as well. And there you have it, you have your font installed on your device, it's really cool. And it's just nice to have the option of different fonts. You can even use this in editing apps like LumaFusion. I did try it in iMovie and it wasn't working. So could anyone let me know if iMovie removed support for third-party fonts or what am I doing wrong? Um, but this is LumaFusion. It's a video editing app on iPhone, probably the best one on iPhone. Um, I'm going to quickly add some text. 
I'm just gonna drag that over here, double tap and edit it. I'm just gonna write here, iPad, and then we're gonna go find our font. So this is the font section here. There it is, margin, resize it, whatever, but it works on editing apps as well. So that's how you change fonts on iPhone and iPad. Like I said, I have used this on any font, but it's not a free app. iFont is free and it basically does the exact same thing, but you have another app option if you want. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to do um, and I highly recommend it. It's really fun to play around with different fonts on your phone. Also, I just want to mention this for anyone who is like type obsessed like me. You have this app here. This is a paid app. I couldn't find any free option for an app like this. It's called Unicode. So this is what it looks like. And this is helpful if your font that you have has a bunch of glyphs. If you don't know what glyphs are, it's kind of alternative looks for different letters. If it has more swirls and things like that font margin that I showed you, I specifically got this app because I wanted to use all the glyphs of margin. So you can go to browse fonts and I'm just going to choose margin here. And here you can view the entire font as well as all the glyphs that it has, all the ones with the little tails and little different types of combinations. It's really helpful to be able to view this on your phone or on your iPad. I use this on my iPad mostly in GoodNotes and things, but this is how you can view glyphs on your phone or on iPad if you are wondering. Um, it's really easy to like copy a glyph. All you need to do is select your letter, click on share and then just click on share glyph and then copy and then you paste it in whatever app you're using that font. So I just had to show this because I was struggling so much with this to find a way to view glyphs for different fonts that have more than just the standard alphabet. So highly recommend also trying that out if you are someone who's interested in using glyphs and things for your fonts. So that was it. That is how you install fonts on iPhone and iPad. I hope this helped you out and you got a solution to any problem you might have. Um, it's really just fun to play around with fonts on different apps and you're not just limited to certain apps, especially if you just use certain fonts in like your videos or things. This will help you guys out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Let me know in the comments down below um, if you have any questions or other app recommendations. Um, that's really helpful in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye.